Allegations of assault and abuse. The mayor of Atlantic City and his wife now charged with abusing their own daughter. The horrific things police say happened to the teen. Catching some extra Z's, a high school in Bucks County is pushing back a start time, all in an effort to boost student performance when the change will start. And Wawa marking a big anniversary today. The sweet and mostly importantly free treats coming your way today in honor of the milestone. What do we love free? Those stories and more <laughs> on today's edition of The Lineup. It is Tuesday, April 16th, 2024. The Lineup is brought to you by TD Bank, America's most convenient bank. Hey, everyone. I'm NBC 10's Keith Jones. And I'm NBC 10's Erin Coleman. Let's get you up to speed with what you need to know today. The mayor of Atlantic City fighting back against abuse allegations. Prosecutors say he and his wife physically and mentally abused their 16-year-old daughter. NBC 10's Katie Zachary has more on the allegations. The criminal affidavit details serious allegations of both physical and emotional abuse by Atlantic City Mayor Marty Small and his wife, Atlantic City School Superintendent Laquetta Small. Documents say that the couple began attacking their 16-year-old daughter back in December of 2023, and it continued through January of this year. The documents allege it all began because they were angry with her relationship with a boy, and she refused to stop seeing him. The mayor is accused of hitting her several times with a broom in the head and knocking her to the point of unconsciousness. His wife, Laquetta, according to the documents, is accused of punching their daughter in the chest, causing bruising and dragging her by her hair, and beating her with a belt on her shoulders. According to investigators, the boyfriend witnessed some of this abuse through live video chat. Mayor Small was in court several weeks ago responding in general to his home being raided and any allegation of wrongdoing. We're dealing with a family matter. We've been dealing with DCPMP, who has been excellent. We're, you know, we're going through family therapy and all. And that's what this should be, is a family matter. The mayor's lawyer did speak to NBC 10, saying the charges filed by the Atlantic County Prosecutor's Office make no claims of public corruption or misconduct in office or any failure by Mayor Small to properly discharge his responsibilities as mayor of Atlantic City. On the contrary, they focus only on personal, private, family matters. We did also reach out to the Atlantic City School District, again, where Laquetta Small is superintendent and leads that school district we have not yet heard back. Reporting from the newsroom, Katie Zachary, NBC 10 News. Katie, thank you. Today, by meanwhile, is the deadline to request a mail-in ballot for next week's primary election in Pennsylvania. Any registered voter can use a no-excuse mail-in ballot to vote. Ballots have to be received by election officials by 8 p.m. on primary day, which is April 23rd. The deadline to apply for a mail-in ballot is 5 p.m. today. And you can count on NBC 10 when it comes to planning your vote. We're going to have full coverage of the races and issues that matter to you. It's all at NBC10.com slash Decision 2024. Well, a high school in Bucks County is pushing back its start time, but the new school schedule won't take effect until the 2025-26 school year. Yeah, yesterday, the superintendent made the announcement about Pensbury High School. The current start time is 7.20. That time will shift to around 8 o'clock, but it still needs to be finalized. Superintendent says the aim is to improve student well-being and academic performance. The Montgomery County Office of Public Health says it's seen an increase in cases of pertussis, also known as whooping cough, at Plymouth White Marsh High School. Yeah, the department says symptoms include sudden, uncontrollable bursts of coughing and a persistent cough that sometimes causes vomiting. If your child has symptoms, they should stay home from school and activities. Officials also recommend making sure your family's pertussis vaccinations are up to date. Wawa celebrating its 60th anniversary today. That's right. They want to give you a gift, free coffee at any location. They expect to give away one and a half million cups of coffee. The company's also hosting an event in Philadelphia to celebrate Wawa Day. They're going to unveil a Wawa exhibit at the National Constitution Center. Good news here because we like free stuff. It is free to the public and they've got some rope. <laughs> All right, a little behind the scenes here. I'm so glad Aaron's that that running. was not on camera. I wish it was. Erin was running to get the goods here, right? We've got him in studio. And she tosses this donut three feet away from me, hits me right in the it, face. Oh, my God. That was not – I just – it was – But anyway, we wanted to show it. you. Uh, 60 years of Wawa, they have a birthday donut. <laughs> I'm yeah, so they sorry. Do. Yes, they do. That was a really bad throw. I'm so <laughs> sorry. Yeah, and then you can get your free cup of coffee. Yep, exactly. Any With size, cool right? Logos too, like the logos. Yeah, the retro ones. Ago. I mean, 60 years. Me and you, having grown up 
in this area, we know what an institution yes. Wawa is. Yeah, yeah. Way back in the day, there were no like gas station Wawas. Exactly. It was just like the, and then you, there was no like automated thing to mm -hmm. make your, you like talk to the person to make your that's hoagie. Right. We, I still like, remember, oh no, that's too much mayo. Remember writing the oh, script? No. The, 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 yes, the thing yes. handed it to him? Yes, so exactly. 60 years is a long time. Like this is our thing when you're Absolutely. in this area. It's so it's a big Philadelphia. Deal. It is, yep, exactly. it is. They hold the door for you, you feel good. Yeah. Get your soft pretzel Eat and your, your peanut shoes, your hoagies. Right. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Well, there's that. We got a question for you. You're going to need this coffee. Are you getting enough sleep? Mm. On our shift, that would be a no. Uh, but coming up, people reveal just how much shut eye they get each night. And the results just might surprise you. Yep, we're back in 30 seconds. Here we go. Here I go again on my own. Introducing the all new TD Clear credit card with no late fees and no interest, just a simple monthly fee. That's predictability. Even when expenses aren't. Four dollars? That's bananas. It's a pair. Oh, man. The all-new TD Clear credit card. That's how credit can be unexpectedly human. Call 1-844-TD-CLEAR for details about credit costs and terms. A haircut could do wonders for someone's self-esteem. I love this next story, and that's why a Philadelphia barber is using his clippers to empower people in Kensington. One free haircut at a time. We're talking about Josh Santiago. He opens up his mobile barber shop three times a week. His clients are really anyone who needs a cut, a touch-up, or anything in between. He says a clean haircut and the connection that comes along with it can go a long way. It makes them feel better, you know? It makes them feel you know, clean and makes them feel, you know, like they actually matter. Santiago says cutting hair also saved his life and he'd been in and out of jail since he was a teen. He said learning how to cut hair sent him down another path. And that's, that's what nice. you want to see. It's those little things that make a big difference, you know? And he's giving back. Yep. Like yep. He's like, all right, this, this kind of saved me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give back now. Love it. Love it. Okay, when you think uh, giant New York style slices of pizza, Domino's probably isn't your first thought. Nope, but they uh, hope it will be soon. They just rolled out their version of a New York style pie. Each one comes with six big foldable slices, and they've even got a few deals out there for anyone who wants to give it a shot here. So it appears... They've just cut bigger pieces, and that's the answer. To a New York-style pizza? Yeah, right? At least so it's a little more, more foldable, so more I suppose. That. No, it's got to be thinner. I know. Yeah, I thinner like the, slices, the, exactly. Yeah, the, the, the whole thing has just to be thinner. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I just don't know if you can... I don't know. I don't know. I don't yeah. know. There's Maybe it's great. There's something about it being... You, you can't mass-produce a New York-style pizza. I, was, I think that's the trouble. Yes, yes, you're right. Yep. You're right. It's the corner, it's the hole in the wall, yeah. like with the ovens, and you There's just... something awesome. Every yeah. pizzeria you go into it, and you see it being made, and they're yep. tossing the dough. And, yep. and then you go into Domino's, and it's this conveyor belt machine that you see, and you're like, yes. okay, so they do prepare it a little bit, but it's a little different, so... I'm not going to knock it until... No. Like, yeah, look, maybe try. they got some sort of special sauce. Yeah. I'm not going to knock it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lord knows I had so much Domino's in college. <laughs> <Same so. here. laughs> I did in Tokyo. Did you it really? was right next to our oh, place yeah. during quarantine, and yeah. we couldn't go out for more than 15 minutes. So it was like, I guess it's Domino's yep. again tonight. Yep, I've, I've survived on Domino's, so maybe they're <laughs> onto something. I don't know. That's right, that's right. Starbucks, meanwhile, jumping on the uh, sweet heat bandwagon. Starting today, customers can get one of three new spicy lemonade refreshers drinks. The sweetness of the beverages, uh, dragon fruit, pineapple, or strawberry, strawberry are being paired with spicy chili powder blend and lemonade. Starbucks is also introducing a spicy cream cold foam that can be added to mm. any coffee or tea. It's interesting. I guess you got to try it first. I, I hear it and I'm skeptical. Yeah. So I don't know. I think the cold cold foam thing is is totally different. Like yes. I just learned what that was. Yeah, I didn't. I don't know what it is. Yeah. So this yeah. is that's the, just the stuff that you put on the top. You can okay. do like lavender or like whatever. And so it I've just only gives had like an one aroma, kind. I guess, while you're drinking. Not, yeah, I don't really know what it yeah. does, but it like people like it. So this, yeah. that's spicy. Right, the that's drinks, good. I feel like people. This is just a take of like, you know, alcoholic drinks that you mm -hmm. get. I feel like a lot of them are spicy, and so they're yeah, just sure, doing this sure. without the alcohol. Yeah, smart. So it makes the trend. makes sense. Yeah. Uh, how often do you vacuum? <laughs> Pretty frequently with, with the dog. Do you oh really? my god, the dog shedding like oh. crazy. So maybe once a week. If that sounds um, like a personal question, it is really. Depends on too where <laughs> you live and how you live. Cleaning experts say there's no need to vacuum every day, but letting it go for a month, well, that's too long. For high traffic areas, every few days or once a week is best. Remember, carpets trap more dirt, hair, and allergens, but Hardwick shows that dirt more. Another tip, you track more dirt, pollen, and debris in when doors are open in fall and spring. So right now. For, yeah. 
right? I don't vacuum as much as you do. No, I'm an expert vacuumer. I like the really? lines in the carpet. Oh yeah, Look I love at you. it. Yeah, but it, yeah. It, it's an it is a uh, it's a requirement with a dog because he's got this double yeah. thick coat and he's shedding like crazy, especially in the spring. Oh. So it's all over, and I'm dumping it out constantly. Oh. It's a lot. Just wait till you have. <laughs> one kid and then he's another a, one. He's, his, his immune system is going to be yes, way up there with yes, Charlie. Yes, and your tolerance for a little <laughs> dust is going to exactly. be a little bit more. A little bit, little better. Yeah. <laughs> hey, if you're feeling sleepy or just wish that you can get a little more sleep, you're not alone. A new Gallup poll shows most people believe they would feel better if they could have more sleep. Listen to how this breaks down, too. 52% of people asked say they wish for more sleep. Less than half said they are getting as much sleep as they need. The last time Gallup did this poll was in 2013. At the time, the numbers were nearly reversed. Sleep experts recommend at least eight or more hours of sleep a night. Only 26% said they meet wow. that criteria. It's crazy. Eight or more hours of sleep a the, night is impossible. I, we, not on Certainly this on this shift. Yeah, we'll yeah. wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning. But um, it's amazing that in 2013, the, the whole survey results were reversed. Yes. Meaning people thought they were getting enough sleep. And now we're not in such a short period of time is crazy. Maybe we're working harder or we're more stressed or like we got. Probably. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Got to rely on these like comfort foods to maybe knock us out, make us sleepy, Ooh. right? Let's talk about some food cravings. My wife, Holly, knows a thing or two about that. We are uh, celebrating the halfway point in her pregnancy, 20 weeks. So here's the funny thing. She was craving cinnamon rolls. <laughs> I saw her post on Instagram. I texted you uh -huh. immediately. I was like, we got to get this on. We got to show this. So she shared her cinnamon roll recipe. And the one contribution, my dear friend, Keith Jones, <laughs> uh, it was a high five. You saw it right there. You it lasted a half a second. Ago. That was it. That was, that was his contribution. She called me in from doing yard work. To this. And she said, high five me on camera. And I said, why? And she said, just do it. And I said, okay. Yes, dear. Yes. And I did it. <laughs> well, you got to see this. This is on Holly's Instagram, of course, celebrating uh, baby boy Jones being half-baked. Yeah. But what a cute idea, mm -hmm. right? She's like, ah, oh, half-baked, I'm, cr I'm having cravings yeah. anyway. Yeah. Let me make these cinnamon rolls. She, uh, it was so funny, too. She was pitching the idea to me, and she was like, you know, I, I really want cinnamon rolls. What do you think about that? And I said to her, I'm not really craving. She says, Keith, it's not about you. She said, you go in the garage, and you work on your wood and everything else, right? And she's like, and I'm going to cook in here and just don't bother me for like an hour. And I said, fine. And then all of a sudden she comes out with these amazing oh. cinnamon rolls. And See, like, and you reap yes, the benefit. I do, exactly. See? Just after a high five, that's all I did. You know, yeah. taste tester over here. And then you got, there's some over, over here in the newsroom um, we bought in the studio. We, you brought in five, right? Yep. yep. Five cinnamon rolls. We're down to like one and a half. <laughs> because she already gave out some to, the, to, the, um, to some of our neighbors, yeah. reserved some for family. She had some, you know. And, they, uh, they were really good. Yeah, they were really delicious. good too. They're nice. So yeah. there you go. Yeah, thank maybe you for I'll be inspired that. to uh, bake a little something. There you go, and then bring it in. Out of a box. Oh, okay. We'll still bring it in. We'll yeah. still eat it. That does it. Today's edition <laughs> of the lineup. For Aaron Coleman, I'm Keith Jones. Where we can get NBC 10 News updates right here on the NBC 10 app. Catch us weekday mornings, by the way, from 4 to 7 a.m. Have a great day. See you guys.